But before that, as I promised, I will show you how to come up uh, with uh, these combinations. If you want to make an exhaustive list of combinations of variables, uh, you can do it like this. For example, you have uh, uh, one variable. Let, let's uh, call it somehow. Let's call it a1. Then uh, for this variable, no, oh, that's actually a bad name. It looks like a multiplied by 1. Let's call it z. Uh, if you have one variable in expression, then you have two cases. As you know, uh, obviously the cases are 0 and 1. Well, let's say uh, you have two variables instead. Then uh, let's say it's variable y. Then uh, you should uh, look into more cases. Uh, one case is that y is always equal 1 and the other case is when y is equal to 0 and you need to retain these cases already. And that's how uh, you, you, you got two cases for uh, one variable and already you have four cases or four variables. Well, let's say we introduce another variable x. Uh, in this case uh, we have twice as much cases because we have all we have all these cases for x equal to uh, zero and we have all these cases again, but for x equals to 1. Let's write it down. You see, that's easy. And if we introduce another variable, let's say whatever, h, then we have twice as many cases. We had eight cases here. Then here we'll have uh, uh, eight cases for zero. So we have zero, 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 zero. Eight cases for zero and eight more cases for once because we have to reproduce all the previous cases with one as well. That's uh, how we exhaustively generate uh, an input for truth table. Yeah, that this one got pretty big. And as you noticed, uh, this progression 2, 4, 8, 16, it's actually the power. Uh, you can calculate how many uh, it's not the power. You can calculate how many cases you have just to check, for example. Uh, if you have uh, one variable, then uh, uh, you can put two but by the power of uh, number of variables and you get two. If you have uh, uh, two variables, then it will be two by the power of two. It will be four. So we have four cases for two variables. And for three variables, you have eight cases. You have three variables, and the Boolean set of numbers contains two numbers, zero and one. And the power, uh, uh, yeah, you see, you see the progression. And two in the power of fourth is 16. For uh, four is the number of uh, variables we create table for, and sixteen is the number of cases. Yeah, that's uh, so. You see that if you have n variables, n variables, then the amount of cases will be two by the power of n in the power of n. Yeah, that's the idea. It's uh, it's pretty handy to to check. If you, uh, if you have all the 
uh, n in, uh, 2 in the power of n cases are not. And uh, the last I will suppose that you can... No, oh, the end. Uh, the last I suppose that you create a truth table for this one to verify this expression, this equality. And afterwards, afterwards uh, we will see if you were right or not. Have fun with this one.